Assalamu alaikum guys welcome back this is Shafat Khan on your screen and in this video I'm going to talk about something very important especially for all the MDCAT students and all the AKU aspirants who are going to appear now in 2021. Alright guys so now it's May. May has begun and your exam of AKU is expected in August and MDCAT exam is expected in either September or October. So now guys, you have approximately six months before your NMD card and approximately three months before your AKU exam. So now guys, this is the high time to start off, okay? Approximately three to four months actually before your AQ exams, okay? Guys, so now this is the golden time to start, okay? If you haven't, get going. If you haven't begun preparing the way you were preparing for your exams, meaning the inter exam or the A level exam or other exams, now is the time to start preparing that way. Go home, find a quiet corner at your home and start studying, okay guys? Because now this is gonna be the most important point of your life, the most important time of your life so far. None of the exams have been so important than this one, all right? Because these are the exams that will decide what uni you are to get in, okay? If you top these exams, you'll reach into a top notch uni like AKU or DAO. Or if you somehow manage to clear it and get into some unit, that's also an achievement. But if you become careless now, it will have consequences, with the consequences which you do not want to get into, okay? So, guys, this is a reminder for you guys. This video has been made specially to remind you all to begin right now. This is the high time to start. Doesn't matter. Even if you've uh, wasted a lot of time, doesn't matter. Guys, you should start preparing right now, okay? Because if you you delay it ahead, if you delay it further, then you end up losing more time and that's not good at all, okay? You must not lose any more of your precious time. Okay, even if your exams have been delayed, even if you think that exams would, be, would get cancelled, do not think that way, okay? Your NMD CAD is most probably going to be conducted at, at the same time or more or less a few days ahead of the uh, the expected date but it will be conducted okay so do not waste any more of time due, due to the COVID situation I know most of us have become lazy even me myself have become lazy I haven't studied since since like two to three days now but guys this attitude has to end this attitude has to change right now right here okay you must start preparing right now it's never too late especially when you have almost six months at your hand it's always a good time to start even if you have a few days left you should still give it your best shot because that's actually what you have in your hand okay you cannot do anything beyond that right but what you can do is practice you what you can do is try what you can do is work very hard okay now guys i'm gonna advise you as to what you guys should do right now if you're preparing for aku or mdcat guys remember if you're preparing for aku you have to uh, study the punjab board or the federal board and follow the curriculum given on aku's website right the latest curriculum which is given on their website aku.edu so what you should actually do is um chem biophysics are the three subjects you have to prepare for uh, along with the sciences right you must must at least complete the entire syllabus till July, all right? These are the three months till which your syllabus should be almost 70 to 80% completed, all right? Because after you've completed it, uh, almost around 15 July or almost around 10 July, or even if you could complete it during the first week of July, it's pretty good, it's still very, very good. After that, you must move on to the past papers, you must complete the past papers before your exam for AKU, all right? Because the date is expected to be in August, the exam is expected to be in August, although there are chances it might get delayed due to the COVID situation. But still guys, you should not keep that in mind. You should always prepare yourself mentally for the exam on the on the predetermined date, okay? You should prepare yourself for that date. Even if the exam is delayed, you'll still be better prepared for the exam, all right? So that's the first advice that I would want you guys to take away from this video that please, please complete your syllabus uh, in May, June, and July. I know most of you, some of you might have already completed their syllabus because they've already been studying the Punjab board, right? So that's a good point for you guys. If you have, then move on to the past papers. That's, that's what you need to do, all right? After that, after you've completed the AKU syllabus, you'll be partially prepared for your MDCAD as well, all right? Because NMDCAD, it mostly would have questions from the Punjab board or from the National MDCAD, although they do tell you that
that they will be testing the FSC syllabus of entire Pakistan. Meaning, they may be testing you from the books of KPK, or from Punjab, or from Balochistan, or from Sindh. But, guys, remember one thing. If you've completed Punjab board, if you've completed federal board nicely, then that means you've actually completed almost like 80 to 90% of the syllabus. The remaining 10% can be completed from the other board. Okay? So, first things first, you must focus on completion of that syllabus. I know some of you might advise you to focus on PMC syllabus, the latest PMC syllabus, which has been given to you last year. Okay, guys, that's a good choice. What you can do is you can start out from that syllabus, but there is no guarantee at all that that syllabus will be followed this year. Okay, because PMC can change its regulations any time without even telling you guys okay they, they will notify it a bit later but guys PMC can change the rules and regulations anytime they want so you have to be prepared you have to prepare the entire course okay what you can do is you can first complete those chapters which are given in that syllabus the PMC's last year syllabus and then the remaining chapters can be completed in the remaining time okay to work more efficiently given that if that syllabus follows you would have been prepared for that syllabus in during this month by following this methodology but guys you have to complete the entire syllabus until a new syllabus has been issued okay so this was for AKU and for partially for the MDCAT then after you are done with AKU you will be partially prepared for MDCAT what you could do is I won't advise Rereading the books. I will not advise rereading the books. Okay, if you've completed the books, you've read them nicely for AKU, then you don't need to reread them. Go directly onto the past papers and start solving them. Okay, or go directly onto those books which you haven't studied yet. All right, and then you will have August and September, or uh, partially September, because there is a chance that exam might be conducted in September. But there is a greater chance of the exam being conducted around October, around mid of October. All right, so you. Uh, September October yeah so you have to be prepared for that as well all right so I hope this video gave you some boost to start off with your preparation right now I know the COVID has made you feel lazy it has made me lazy but that doesn't matter now you what you need to do is find a quiet corner at home and start studying give it your best shot study five hours in a, at a time study 10 hours at a time study as much as you can all right but guys remember you must have good sleep as well okay do not compromise your sleep for studying if your sleep isn't good if you have if you aren't in a well slept stay a state then you are, might not be able to study and those 10 hours or 5 hours or 7 hours might go to waste okay so your sleep should be sufficient your nutrition your food should be sufficient your you should go out on a walk as well all right but you must dedicate most of your time to study and preparing for your MDCAT and AKU I hope this video was a bit beneficial for most of you if you guys have any question regarding the AKU or the MDCAT you can drop me a question in the comment section or on my Instagram ID the description uh, the link to which has been given in the description. Thank you so much.